because we're about to do something really crazy. I'm gonna take my shoes off and we're gonna put these boots on. You guys are about to be in for a surprise. I don't know what I'm about to see yet, but I think it's gonna be good. How am I looking, bro? Pretty good. I'm looking fresh, fresh in the kicks. Let's head back there, man. Come here, guys. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but Adam caught a fish with his hands and it was back in the swamp. Are you serious? What is it? I saw, what is that? You spooked all this fish. What is that? Where's the creek at? Oh no, I see it. It's right here. I think it's a fish, I think. Wait, maybe, is that it? Yeah, dude, it is. Come here. Dude, come here. No, like, for real, come here. This is how you catch a fish with your hands. Oh my God, he's so slippery, dude. He just moved again. Well, the swamp flooded the last couple of days, and we've been hearing some more fish back in there, and I'm curious to see if there's, like, some bass. I don't know if it's just mud fish, so we're gonna go back there and check it out. We're gonna follow this trail. It's really flooded, and we've heard, I mean, we heard multiple fish. There's more than just one fish jumping, so let's go. See, see how the swamp right here, guys, flooded all in here. Look at all the water. There's actually water moving right here. So when we're talking, when we're bass fishing here, and we're talking about the moving water, or the, uh, the water coming in, there's water coming in right here. There's water coming in right here, as you guys can tell. And there's a bigger one coming in over here. It's actually really grown up since the last time I've been in here. All right. I'm gonna let you do your thing. Come here, Bradley. Bro, I'm in Fort Fox. This is not the move. See, the big hole's actually down there. It's not this one. There's a lot of streams coming in. This That's what I was saying, bro. They're all underneath you. Where do we hear them jumping around? They were swimming up this mound and coming in here. They're probably in that back pool back there. Ooh. Bro, look back there. There's like a pond. This, this was not growing up like this. So many briars. There's fish back there. Let's go catch them. Dude, we heard those fish. I, they were in right here. They must have came, went in the water. I mean, we heard like five just popping off in here. Dang it, man. See, last time when Adam grabbed that fish, it was all right here. And I, that's where we heard him. You could just hear like so many fish splashing around. I was like, dude, we got to come back here. But I don't know. I guess they already hopped in the water. That's crazy. I guess you got to catch it at the right time. All right, guys, we just made it out to the pond. I'm excited. We got the chatter donk on. Like I said, we're going for some big fish today and that is honestly a honking chatter donk that's a big trailer on the back of that thing this is going to try to we're going to try to catch a big bass with this thing today like i said i have not visited back with the chatter bait in quite some time now so i'm excited man i haven't been to this place in literally like a year as well there's no way first cast giant there's no way oh my gosh guys it's huge it's huge like i'm talking big Oh my God, that, that's like a seven pounder. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Please stay pinned, baby. Please stay pinned, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no way. That was first cast. First cast on the cheddar. Don't think it's seven pounder. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way this just happened. There's no way this just happened. A six to seven pounds right there. Oh my God. On the giant chatter donk. We're we gotta take a picture of this. Oh my first cast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably my second biggest fish of the year. And I just caught her on my first cast in a place I haven't been to in like a year. What in the world that is a solid six to seven pound bass. I cannot believe I don't have a scale too, like an idiot. I left it in my boat. So I've been going out on the boat a lot. That is a giant. Wait, I know exactly what I want to do real quick. Adam, Adam, bro. You're not going to believe it. On my first cast, bro. What? I, I haven't even like talked to the camera. Look at this. What the freak? What bro, that's that? like a seven pounder first cast. Remember, we haven't been here in like a year. This is, you know where I'm at. Hold up, I'll show you in a second. Let me release this bass, bro. That's like a solid, like almost seven. That's probably a seven pounder. It has to be. All right, guys, we're going to get this beauty back in the water. I don't want to hold her out any longer. But what do you think about that for the first cast of the video? That is a freaking giant. Oh, my gosh. Get you right back, baby. Thank you so much. 
Thank you so much. You are a big girl. There she goes. Oh my gosh. That is a giant bass right there. That's what we're talking about. I am at disbelief on that one. I had to call Adam because that is just insane. He came here with me last and I never released the video, but me and him caught like two or three four pounders. Um, it was a tough day. It, it took us so long to catch them. But that is insane. That was really my first cast, guys. And that was my biggest. I want to say that's my biggest fish this year. It's either my second biggest or my biggest. It's very close, though. But that was literally my first cast. Have to be on bed. I don't know. <laughs> that is insane. We're going to keep going, guys. I don't know. This might be insane. I was not expecting that right there. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not caught a fish on my first cast in a very long time. And for him to be that big, that is just insane. Holy cow, we're gonna have a fun time out here. All right guys, we're about to work our way back in this pocket right here. I've actually seen some beds along the bank. I think this is gonna be really good. If we can get the right cast in this pocket, I think there's a big chance that we could catch another big one. So we're just gonna fan cast around here, fish the banks real good, see if we can trigger off another big one. I know they'll probably be in this pocket. That's why I came in here. It's actually a little calm. It's pretty windy today. Pocket's kind of hidden from the wind, but there's a good bit of beds along the bank. I don't see any fish on them, but I swear that first fish I caught was on bed. He, he had to have been, I don't know. If he wasn't, he was just roaming around, but that was crazy. We're gonna fan cast around this pocket. I think we're gonna have a chance. There, one just ate some on the bank. Holy cow. I don't even know if I can reach that. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, wow. Oh, we're gonna get hammered over there. There he is. Uh oh, that's another big one. Has to be. Oh my God, he's toting me. Oh my gosh, guys. There's no way. Another giant. He's toting me into this bank. I'm trying to, trying to get him out of there. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. There's no way. There's no way, another giant. Oh my God, that's bigger. It's bigger than the last. Oh my God. Oh. Six to seven pounder. <laughs> no, that was not that. <laughs> that's a six pounder though. Look at this belly. Dude, that's a football. Oh my God. Guys, we are going to hook some giants today. I gotta get a picture of this. I gotta get Fletcher a call just talking to him. Whew. You, ain't, you, you ain't gonna believe it, bro. <laughs> you ain't gonna. Bro, you catch another monster? Look. <laughs> Dude, that's a solid six, bro. That's what I guess. What I was going to say is that about like five and a half, six. Dude, I'm so mad. I'm like smashing myself in the face about my scale because I've been on, out on the boat so much. So I kept it out there. Dude, look at that. <laughs> All right, guys. Right there. <laughs> that is so <laughs> crazy. Another giant. That That is the fat girl, too. Look how fat she is. We're going to get her right back in the water. It's a solid freaking six pounder. Oh, my gosh. I'm smashing myself in the face about that scale. But there ain't no lying about that. Let's let's get one good look. She's so fat. Look at that belly. Get you right back in the water, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that, guys. We have not gone on like a bank fishing trip in a while, and we are catching some bigs. Thank you so much, baby. We're gonna try to catch another one. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. This is the perfect episode for it. Revisiting the Chatter Donk, a bunch of amazing memories have been made with this bait over the last year. And I just have not thrown in such a long time because I, I go on weird phases, guys. I go to where I'm like throwing a certain bait a lot. And then I'll just like stop throwing it for a while and start throwing something else. It's just always how I've been with it. We're gonna keep on going. I'm gonna cast over here some more because that fish was by far 100% bedding. 
I, I know that for a fact. The way that she ate it right there, she just kept messing with it and she barely had it. And uh, I, I know there has to be another fish over there. So we're gonna keep beaming cast, see if we can catch another one. That is almost a three pounder. He's pushing it. He's like two, two and three quarters. That is not a bad bass at all though. Look at that. He just loaded up on it. Good thing I threw parallel with that bank. That's so important guys. Let me tell you, especially this time of year, if there's gonna be a bunch of fish betting on the bank, throw that parallel cast before you walk up on it. That is a beautiful fish. He's a really hyper one. He's just ready to go. Really healthy. I do not mind catching it. That was a good one. Man, we've caught three fish, two of them being absolute monsters. And that one's a really quality bass. That is just crazy. No small ones yet. <laughs> no small ones. So let's just talk about what I did, which is very important. If any of you guys go take this back, I don't care if you're on a kayak or if you're on a boat, if you're on a John boat, if you're on the bank, I don't, I don't care what you're doing. This is very important. First, I need to fix my trailer. There we go. Brand new trailer. All right. So this is what you do. I'm, I've been walking the banks, I've been covering water, and I've been kind of throwing across to that other side of the bank. But what you got to remember is the bank in front of you. So what I like to do, and this, like I said, this can, this can go back anywhere. You can do this wherever you're fishing, is you know, you beam, you beam parallel because let me tell you, this time of year, if these fish are on bed, they're obviously going to be bedding in the shallow water up on the bank. So you're going to want to stand right here and you're being parallel with the bank you see what i'm saying so instead of throwing out there where you're in the strike zone for you know literally three or four, four foot when, once you reel the bait in if you throw parallel with the bank how i just did you're pretty much in the strike zone the whole time i know a lot of you guys know that but i just wanted to put that out there for some of the new fishermen really pay attention to those parallel casts because that can help you catch so many bass let me tell you you're always in the strike zone I'm telling you, if you put, if you apply that one tip, if you're not already doing that, they're in parallel with the bank, you will catch so many more bass. Please go do that and send me some pictures of the big ones that you catch. Now this seawall over here, I'm telling you these, sea... what do I got? I do not have a fish. <sighs> I about had a heart attack there. What in the world is this? Is that a shirt? what oh it's like a tarp what in the world i hooked a tarp well that's not necessarily what we want to catch all right fourth fish of the day big old tarp but yeah those sea walls i'm telling you we're gonna catch one there's a there's a bunch of sea walls in this place we're gonna catch a bass on one of those walls today they love to bet on them sea walls Perfect cast, holy cow. Oh my God, he ate it like a top water. He's running, he's running. Oh my God, he came off. That was the fastest bass I've ever seen. He ate it like a top water. Ooh, I knew that was that money cast. I've been trying to beam that cast for a minute. My bait had like a little bit of grass on it. Oh my gosh, that fish was running so fast. Man, that's aggravating, because I just knew that there was a big fish there. Uh, I'm going to 
beat him over there a couple more times, see if I can get him to bite again. I doubt it though. Guys, what a start to the episode. That is exactly what we want right there is some big bass hunting for those big bass at some you know bank fishing areas that is so awesome you know i cannot believe the first cast caught a bass that big and then all of a sudden you know hooked another just really good fish and then ended up catching that other one that was you know almost three pounds he wasn't quite there he's a two number but that is just unbelievable so much fun doing that and uh i'm just glad i could get back out on the banks and show you guys some fishing but i'm actually at another spot of the same pond right now um i do have to retie my chatterbait because i know it's a little bit of phrase in my line and i'm not like like a fish this big i am not playing around right now so we're about to go back out there and hopefully catch some more the bites are kind of here and there but when you get one it's usually a good one so um we're gonna keep on hunting see if we can catch some bigger fish i really want to see if we can get that double digit yeah, it's pretty windy but we're at a different side of this pond i'm gonna see if there's some fish right here um they seem to be biting so good but we're gonna fan cast around here really fish these banks really good oh my god there's an alligator right there it's literally an alligator sitting in that grass interesting we're gonna keep on casting around i want to see if we can hook some more of those big girls that was a lot of fun right there it's like some boulders down this bank i should get hammered right here i remember the last couple times i went there's a good there's usually a fish sitting on this for the most part might take a few casts but there should be one here <laughs> How you doing? Beautiful day outside. Should be a big in here. Yep. Oh my lordy. Came off. Right there you can see the boil. God. I never stuck them though. You know, the reason I said there should be a big one here, I think it's the first one, first time I said that today, it's because you see this bend right here? See how it's just like an irregular, just kind of divot in the bank? It just screams bass. Sure enough, there's one there, you just didn't eat it all the way. He's out in bed 100%. He's trying to eat me again in the same spot. He's 100% on bed. There he is. Oh my gosh, I can't tell if he's... Oh my gosh. That was insane. See, he was taking it off his bed. That's exactly what he was doing. That's why I didn't have it. And that fish just ran. I have not had a fish. I couldn't even... I, I never felt the full pressure of him. I don't know how big that fish was. He's right on bed right there. Might be able to catch him again. Or hook him again. I never really penetrated that fit. Like, I never felt the weight of him. That could have been a really big one. The way he was running seemed to be like he was huge. Golly, man. That's a fish on bed. Those type of bites right there, those are the ones that are locked on bed. And they're just trying to get the bait off their bed. Prime example of it. That's the first fish I've really seen locked today. We're out in a new place right now, and I actually, I'm gonna switch over to the Divine Swim Jig by Six Cents. I actually ended up breaking my last chatter donk off, so that was, that kinda sucked, but I think the Swim Jig would do just as good. But I'm at a new place that I've never really been to before, so I'm interested to see if there's one, some big fish in here, and two, if they're gonna bite. And I think the Swim Jig is gonna get it done. Look how beautiful that looks. It's a white and chartreuse with a blue top on the head and the swim bait pairs up perfectly it's blue on top chartreuse on the bottom we're gonna try to cover some water it looks like i see a few beds right here see the other place this fish were on bed i don't know if they're gonna be in on bed everywhere else but you know i guess we'll see 
If they're on bed, it could be dangerous. There he is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. On the divine swim jig. Freaking big. Freaking big. And oh my god. Yes. <laughs> we just got here on the divine swim jig. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh. Gosh, I'm about to have a heart attack today, man. We are just catching some big fish. I want to get a quick picture of that. That's beautiful. That is actually not a four pounder. I can guarantee you that. But what I can guarantee you is he's in the middle of a three number. It's around three and a half pounds. That is a thick freaking boy. These are all pre-spawn fish. I was afraid that they're all gonna be post-spawn, but look at the freaking size of that one. We just got here on the divine swim jig. Oh, yeah. So this was literally the next spot that I just picked out freaking has some fish up on the bank like the other place and that swim jig oof looks good i was not expecting to catch one like that not gonna lie that other place i knew it had some bigs in it but i was afraid that some of these other places you know the fish would be post spawn and just kind of thinned out and skinny and not up on the bank but shoot man they're here we're just gonna keep on covering some water as you guys can tell i'm just throwing parallel like i talked about earlier just throwing parallel with the bank Going across some of those beds, if there's any fish under this grass, they should come out and eat it. And if I have any short strikes, I'm really honing in on that spot, making multiple casts and trying to catch that fish. So let's keep on covering some water. I'm sure there's gonna be more if there's one on this grass. I'm sure there's gonna be another one. So let's keep covering water, see if we can get another bite. There he is. I bet you that was the male. I, bet, I promise you that's the male. <clears throat> Golly, I cannot talk. Look how he ate that swim jig. That is incredible right there. First small fish of the day. I bet you, I'm pretty positive. I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I'm pretty sure that's where I just caught that three and a half pounder. This is probably the male off the bed and they were locked on. Look at that pretty, pretty chunky guy. Not big, but he choked that swim jig. I will say that. That was like the best like a bass inhaling a bait all day. Oh my gosh. He, he knocked me so hard. Oh no. It was like a three pounder. He knocked me so hard that there's slack in my line. I didn't even know I had a bite. That was so crazy. That was a three pounder. That's insane, man. I already went over that spot right there too. He hit that thing so good. He actually hit it so hard I didn't even know I had a fish. That was actually hilarious. Looks saucy. This looks saucy. Is there any fish in here? Is the question. That's a big one. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Listen now. Listen now. Oh my gosh. That fish was on bed. I don't think he's on bite again. I had him stuck. That fish went from that bank 10 to 15 foot out in the matter of two seconds. I don't know if you guys heard my rod whistling. That was wild right there. That was a big one. Wow. On the swim jig, you just didn't eat it all the way. That's what happens when you're catching these fish off bed like that. They short strike a lot. It's good, man. What's up, Noah? Gosh. Nice to meet you. Bruh. I watch all your videos. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Are you, are you from here? Yeah, I was actually coming to fish. You were coming one. here? Yes. Is there any good ones in it? I don't know. This is my first day fishing it. Really? Oh, that's sweet, I dude. It's been like, I heard it's like a couple of ponds around here. Oh. Dude, I had a big one wake on it right there. Oh, you come off? <laughs> Is that on the jig? <laughs> hey, come here. Come here, dude. I just had one slam the back of me. I bet you if you throw it over here, you'll catch one. Hey, am I going to be on the, am I gonna be on yeah. the video? In the yeah, I'll put you on the video. This man. He doesn't believe me. What's up? <laughs> hey, bro. Grab your wacky rig. There's one sitting on bed over there. Really? It's not big. I mean, it's like a pound. I bet if you drop the wacky rig in front of him, he'll eat it. All right. So you see that, you see the grass patch right there? Yeah. To the right of it? Yeah. If you cast right in that open water, you'll catch him. Right there. Uh, He's sitting there right on bed. If you can uh, get him. That's all good. Here, come right here. Oh, you got him. Yes. Yo, that was legit. <laughs> Yo. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Good yeah? You yeah. want to show it to the camera? Oh, yeah, cool. You got to show it to the camera now. You know, wacky okay. rig? I like your boy. <laughs> Come after us, John B. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that thing on bed. I was like, I got to get you. Put that Sanko on there.